What's up guys, Cut Protagonist here, bring you a product review on the TDO8 Liberator of the Century. As you guys know from my previous videos, that today we had a pre-release trial deck tournament at TTZ Trading Haogang. There were about 20 people in the tournament, but me and my friend Paddy topped. I was using the Go Paladin Liberator team deck, and he was using the Narukami Eradicator team deck. This one I won by the way. I won, yeah! So yeah, we decided not to fight in finals and shared the prizes. Because I don't want shit hits going around saying Narukamu is better than Gold Pardin or Gold Pardin is better. We let the story tell we let the story We let the enemy tell the story, shall we? Well he won a copy of the Gold Pardin Chorak and I won myself the Narukamis. So it was an awesome day. Okay, let's go on to the product review, shall we? Well yeah, yeah. Sorry that this deck is not in mint condition because I had to use it during the tournament. But since I've used it and uh, in a couple of rounds, I can actually explain how the deck works. Isn't it awesome? So yeah, first I've got to read the rules to you guys. Because you need to. Because you guys need to learn the rules. Screw the rules! I have money. Alright, let's go on to the deck. Do we even ever read this? Well, unless we can actually understand the language. But oh well. We all know the rules, don't we? We are pros. Alright. So our cover card is Boku no Bunshin! Brasta Pleno! Liberator. How fucking original. When this unit is caught or rided, counter blast 2 to retire one card the opponent controls. Yep, Boku no Bunshin will be Boku no Bunshin. So let's take a look what we have. Alright. Blaster Blade. Second card we have is. Solidarity Knight, Gansalot, Liberator. This is the new boss card of the deck. It's a new Brick Ride unit introduced in this season. When the Go Pardin rides this unit, right, this guy will gain the effect. Um, the Vanguard gains 10,000 attack until the end of turn and choose up to 3 other uh, Go Pardin Rearguards and each of them gain 5k attack. So basically, it's um, Soul Saver Dragon on steroids. Yeah. So. Use him or you are stupid. Okay, and the second effect is when this card when this card attacks the Vanguard, it gains 2k. So he has 11k base and it is awesome. 11k base. Wow, that's very rare in Go Pardons anyway. So yeah, next card we have here is 2. Dignified Go Dragons. This is the best unit you want to ride on Gansalot. Um, with, with a li uh, generic limit break 4 to gain 5k and when it's a rare guard it gains 2k when it attacks a vanguard so it's just a break so when you just break right over this guy this guy over gains a lot you gain 10k and 3 rare guards gain 5k easily hitting to 35k and 35k an army of steroids liberator so yeah play him so good well actually personally I prefer spectral loop but yeah since the child right? he wins games so yeah for a wild dancing sh liberator shin. So yeah, counter blast one to gain 3k, boosted by 7k, it's a 20k rare guard. So yeah, strong. Just a typical trial deck stuff. And yes, we have the new Galatine. Which is your 10k beat stick. Normally used for its liberator name. Which is the team of the deck, of course. Most of the cards here will require you some liberators in the unit. For example, this polar bear dog thing I have no idea what on earth is that its effect is when when this card is when you have 3 other liberator rare guards this, this unit gains 3k which makes it an 11k attacker it's much better than uh, gigantic commander because this is a dog I like dogs so I'm biased yes zoom down egos your special intercept for the deck there's no liberator in the name, so it's meh. Yeah, finally we get and we have one burning horn dragon. Wow, this is something very new in a trial deck. This is the first time Bushiro actually gave us a burning horn dragon in a trial deck. So yeah, it's super awesome. When you have a liberator vanguard, this unit gains additional 3k, which is a 12k beat stick, boosted by Gra Gareth. It is a 20k roll. So yeah, max him out. Now we go to the grade two. Great ones. We have four alternate art knight of elegant skills graph. Yeah, basically just an alternate art 
sadly it doesn't have the liberator which yeah makes him quite inferior yeah now we have four diabetes it's so cute oh my god i love you so much look at his eyes it's staring into your soul oh god so cute Ugh. damn it okay now we have four morons when you have a liberator vanguard this unit and this unit attacks is a 10k attacker it cannot boost for 10k but it can attack for 10k which is um k cologne so yeah pretty decent and the new 10k booster of go paladins for liberators when this card boosts a liberator monster and you have four three or more liberator monsters on the field this is a 10k booster and itself count as a regard so yeah, so basically you only need him and two other liberator on the field and it's kind of 10k booster. Which is so much better than this card, seriously. Go away. Yeah. Welcome to Team Liu. Alright, for the triggers, there is... Four crits. Liberator. Yeah, we all need liberators. Four stand triggers. Take them out. Four draw triggers. Liberator as well. And finally, four... Liberator Elixir. Thank God! Finally! Get the fuck off my deck! <sighs> Man, we need more hot chicks, right? Yeah, so hot. Wait, give me, let me zoom in. Yeah, wow, this is so much damn better than this card, seriously. Oh, man. God, I'm gonna use you forever, yeah. And finally, we have the starter. No comment. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the Trout Egg review of BTD09, Liberator of the Sanctuary. Please subscribe to me and add me on Facebook and have an awesome day. Peace.